343 are done with the seasonal model for Halo Infinite. Sketch emphasizes multiple times that the new Halo projects are in the works right now and that the studio has ambitions beyond Infinite. So what does that mean for Halo Infinite and whatever 343 is working on next? Well, I brought my good friend and YouTube content creator BBK Dragoon on to talk about on a podcast that we recently posted here on the channel. In the segment, we talk about the near-term future of Halo Infinite, if 343 is willing to rework some aspects of Tatanka into the next Halo game, and what should 343 do for the next game if they want to keep classic Halo fans happy or go in a completely different direction. If you guys like these discussion videos, make sure to tap like, best way to help out the video and channel. Link to the full video in the pinned comment and description of the video. From 343, from Sketch specifically, mentioning that 343 has ambitions beyond infinite. Seeing the recent leaks, not say leaks, but information we've seen with like LinkedIn profile saying that an yeah. unannounced Halo release has been in the works since 2022. Makes you wonder, what do you think the time frame we can expect when it comes to like how long Infinite is going to run for? And when can we expect the next Halo experience? Earlier, the better would be great, but I know it needs all the time in the oven <laughs> oh to my finish. Gosh, yes, I don't, yeah. If we have another unfinished <laughs> launch, dude, the, the pitchforks will be fully sharpened. Dude. That would make it a full decade of just unfinished <laughs> releases for, Infinite, yeah. for Halo. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, that's part of the like, I'm happy the leadership changes occurred because at a certain point you're like, there's quite a long list here of the same thing happening over and over again, where every end of like a game cycle, it's in that really great spot. And it's like, if you would have just taken the time a little bit longer in the oven, stick the landing, more people will last. So I'm going to say holiday 2025, right? If they are working on a new multiplayer or single player kind of project, I don't think it's this year. I bet it's going to be like a, a fall or like a Q3, Q4 2025 thing. I wish it was sooner rather than later. But if we think about it, like Infinite will go into life support for like the last three seasons or whatever. But there's that long ramp up period to where six months before the release, you're going to have a big swing of people coming back the way MCC really grew before Infinite uh, dropped. Yeah, I mean, that's that would be my best guess. I could be wrong. Halo games take a long time to create, but we know Max Hoberman's team were working on something Halo related. The whole leaker news now is right. Tatanka was scrapped. It was scrapped a while ago. And maybe they've transitioned to working on something new, maybe this new thing that you just asked about in your question, like the stuff that Sketch is referring to, maybe it's all rolled into just one singular project. I'm still in the, the boat that I think a BR could definitely work in Halo and it would be really fun, but it should never take precedent over a really good core Halo game. So if they've said, you know, maybe this is a mode in our new game, or maybe we'll revisit Tatanka at another time and we're going to focus on a more typical Halo style release, then I am crazy pumped. But literally every bit of what I just said is nothing but speculation so yeah who who knows right what what do you think i mean yeah we've been speculating about tatanka for like two years now or something yeah. like that yeah <laughs> that's the funny thing like it, it almost feels like it's like a confirmed mode that never yeah. was officially announced or confirmed in any capacity just yeah. like that window central from like jez corden like like two years ago mentioned it yeah <laughs> and yeah. then we're just like where is it <laughs> yeah <laughs> but the thing is like yeah i think like a battle royale would work really well with halo or with some kind of like large scale battle mode like the sandbox is definitely there you got the yeah. vehicles you got the weapons and even like the small some of the smaller mechanics were introduced with infinite i think would work really well like how you can use the power-ups when when you want to rather than just you know activating right when you pick it up being able to drop weapons uh, oh yeah you know life ping and things like that contextual pinging like that's huge and large scale like battle royale type modes that's in the yep. game as well like really yep. the only thing that's missing is like the networking system that be able to support and like a yep. map that could you know and then randomize some spawns and you know, you've kind of got yourself a br but yep. uh i think something like that would totally work uh though i do feel like right, right now at this point like you really have such an established, I don't want to say community, but a list of really popular Battle Royale games, which would be yeah. very difficult to compete against, like Warzone, Fortnite, and Apex. Those three already just take up so much space. But I do feel like there is room for Halo within that discussion to like have something like that. But BR has been like the FPS mode for the last like 10 years. It would be more interesting to see Halo be more on the forefront rather than on the following side of trends and things like yeah. that. Everyone keeps talking about, you know, the new cool things like extraction shooters, right? Like it's kind of like yeah. a new cool thing. And how that'd be interesting if like Halo could pull something off that, like that off. Cause like the cool, like, like we know of like Tarkov, right? Cause the whole point of Tarkov is like you jump in, you find things within the world which levels up your character. So the next time you jump back in, you're more powerful. And then you, and then you die, recycle repeats kind of thing. It would be interesting to see how they would do that with 
Halo. I do think there's possibility of that. Yeah. Uh, but it would be, you know, you have to dive into the weeds of like exactly how you would do it kind of thing. I'm really happy that Infinite is a traditional like multiplayer style game mm-hmm. for the most part. I'm really happy they didn't come out the door chasing the BR trend. And right now I feel like a bunch of FPS developers are going to be chasing the extraction trend. Marathon will drop. I'm sure it will be successful because it's Bungie. And then a bunch of other studios are going to just go and and chase that trend. And I would hate to see them sacrifice like that core identity and core audience to go after an audience you don't have. I feel like that is such a faux pas. I mean, let's face it, games are just businesses. They're huge money makers at this point. And the people with the money at the top are going to chase after the trends that are super successful. I still really appreciate the games like a Counter-Strike. Or Counter-Strike 2 is still Counter-Strike. They're not changing the formula super radically. Even the jumps between the non-sprint and the sprint Halo games, right? They each have their own merits. I'm not going to, you know, old man grumble, grumble about like sprint being in my Halo. I still wish we'd get a a non-sprint Halo game. But Halo has still sort of remained Halo for the most part at its core. And so whatever they're producing next... I truly hope that it honors like that core Halo audience from the get-go instead of chasing trends. We've had a decade of chasing little smaller trends within the sandbox. Those little things don't get you a new audience just because you have Sprint in your game or you've got this particular mode. It might get you a subset, but it's not going to overall like explode that fan base, in my opinion. Infinite, I think, is exactly how I would want a Halo game to play in the modern era, you know? And I feel like it's almost like what Halo 3 would play out like if it was released in 2021 rather than 2007, in my opinion. It'd be interesting to see how they make another Halo multiplayer when the multiplayer gameplay for Infinite has been pretty much universally received as like, this is really good, we like this, you know? So where do you go from that? Or do you just make a separate, like standalone experience that can tie into Infinite or something kind of ways? Or you keep supporting Infinite as like your core multiplayer experience, but then you create something new, like an extraction shooter or a battle royale or a new campaign or something yeah. around those lines where you could still, because like I think Infinite like satisfies that 4v4, 8v8, now 12v12, like core multiplayer experience that you've had with Halo for 20 plus years. I would like to see added on to it because I feel like you would just re-release Infinite's multiplayer if you're going to put it in a separate game. I still think it's going to be like a Halo Infinite 2.0. It won't be called that, right? I think it's going to be like its own, whatever they, they name it. Hey, what did you say? Halo Infiniter or something? The most infinite? So, something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I think it was that something I said. Yeah. <laughs> but the uh, the sandbox doesn't need to like completely divert. I think it is important to refresh things. Like having the banded Evo in comp is good for spectators, and it's too soon to know. Like we're gonna need some events behind us to really look at it under the microscope to see like was this a good shift. I don't want banded Evo forever. I think it would be useful to every few years update. In not a substantial way, but shift the the sandbox up a little bit so it makes it enjoyable. And so I think Infinite, like you said, did a really good job of appeasing, I think, elements of classic and elements of modern for Halo. I think there's tons of room for improvement, but I echo what you're saying. I don't think they should reinvent the wheel. That would be like horrible. Like stick to the core principles that have worked when you're looking at that sandbox. I'm always going to lean more to some of the classic isms. And I, I think the speed at which like Halo 2 plays without sprint is phenomenal like it's super fun to go play 4v4 halo 2 and you remember like this game is crazy action-packed and i'm not having to deal with you know sight lines and map distances that have been like changed substantially to account for this you know augmented movement i'm not saying take sprint out of the next game it's an argument that's dead right we don't need to talk about it anymore but what i am saying is like halo infinite tur or infinite est or whatever keep a lot of the elements of the sandbox that you have found that have worked with infinite you've you did a good job just refine on it, be additive, like what you just said. 